Okay, let's review the linear transformation. Uh, there's there's many two there's many two problem related related to linear transformation. The first is determine if a transform if a transformation is linear or not. Uh, to determine if a transformation is linear or not, we use the definition of linear transformation. The definition of linear transformation is defined if a transformation is a linear transformation if it satisfies two conditions. The first is Tu plus V equals Tu plus Tv. The second condition is T lambda U equals lambda Tu. For U V belongs to Rn and lambda belongs to R, as that is for any real numbers. So if we want to determine a transformation is linear or not, we just need to check these two conditions. The second problem is related to, related to the standard matrix of linear transformation T. Uh, to find the, find the standard matrix of the linear transformation, there is a theorem. If the transformation T is linear, then there exists a matrix a matrix A such that uh, such that Tx equals Ax for all A and A can be expressed as Te1, Te2, Ten. That means the column matrix, the column vectors of A, is, uh, are all transformations of a standard basis. Okay, uh, let's use these uh, two material to do some examples. The first example is determine. The transformation T is linear or not. The T is defined as Txy equals x negative y. That means reflecting the uh, vector by the by the x-axis. We use this. We use those two conditions to de, to find to determine if T is linear or not. The solution is uh, let U equals x one uh, y one and V equals x two y two. Then we check these two uh, conditions. The first is T U plus V. That is T X one Y one plus X two Y two. First we add them together, then take the trans transformation. So that is T X one plus X two y1 plus y2. The linear transformation ju just changes the sign of the second uh, coordinate. So that is x1 plus x2 negative y1 plus y2. That's the transformation for addition. And the addition for transformation, Tu plus Tv 
that is tx1, y1, plus tx2, y2. tx1, y1, that is x1, negative y1. tx2, y2, that is x2, negative y2. Add them together, that is x1 plus x2, that is negative y1 plus y2. This is actually the same as Tu plus V. So the first condition is satisfied. The second condition, T lambda U, that is T lambda X1 lambda y1 change the second change the sign of second coordinate that is negative lambda y1 we take the lambda outside that is x1 negative y1 that is lambda tu so the second condition is also satisfied by these two conditions, we got that T is linear. Let's just check these two conditions. And now we uh, look for some examples of, uh, of how to find the standard matrix. Uh, by the, uh, the theorem that if we want to find the standard matrix, we focus on the transformation of standard standard basis. Uh, first, find A of T. The T is defined as x1, x2 equals uh, 2x1 minus x2, x1 plus x2. We focus on e1 and e2. So t e1, by the definition, t e1 is t1, 0. That means X, x1 equals 1, x2 equals 0. So t1, 0, that is 2 and 1. t2, that is t0, 1, that is, that is x1 equals 0 and x2 equals 1. So that is negative 1 and 1. So the matrix is t1. T E two that is two one negative one and one. Uh, this is a little bit uh, easy to find the standard matrix. Uh, let's see the rotation. Uh, find a of t. Uh, t is defined as uh, rotate uh, vectors by angle theta counterclockwise. Now let's uh, uh, draw the graph of this linear transformation. Uh, first, this E1 is changed to, to, to this vector. This is a theta. And uh, this vector sh should has new coordinate, x or y. How to find x and y? Now, the by, by the definition of the tri, of the trigonometric ratios, we have x equals 
x y the x coordinate the new uh, the uh, t e1 the x coordinate of t e1 that is the length times cosine theta so that is the length is one so that is cosine theta and the length times sine theta is a y coordinate so that is sine theta what about the t e2 the e2 is changed to this uh, this is e2 not that so here is a theta here is the theta. So y, the y coordinate, the length of y is uh, because this line, this line is uh, adjacent to our, our theta by the definition of, of cosine theta. So y coordinate is cosine theta. But y, what about the x uh, coordinate? x coordinate if we choose if we choose uh, this angle by the definition of trigonometric ratio maybe we call this the theta of the theta then the x coordinate should be uh, cosine theta cosine theta and that is cosine uh, pi over 2 plus theta but the cosine pi over 2 plus theta is negative sine theta so the x coordinate is negative sine theta so the standard matrix is cosine theta sine theta negative sine theta and cosine theta that's the standard matrix for rotation. There's even more uh, difficult uh, example. Uh, find A over t, over t. The T is defined as reflecting by the line y equal by the line y equals x this may not be too may not too hard then uh, use the graph the y equals x so the this point change to this point and the uh, e1 change to the e2 because reflecting by y equals x that that is uh, just uh, uh, interchange the y axis and the x axis so t e1 equals e2 so e2 as a t on zero x chain interchange at the x and y coordinate that is zero one and t e2 that is t zero one that is one zero so the matrix that is zero one and one zero this is not too hard but if there's a uh, reflecting by reflecting by other line for example find a o t t is defined by reflecting mm. 
by reflecting by the line. If the line is not y equals x, but y equals 2x, then how to find the te1 and te2? Uh, there is some trick for uh, this type of uh, transformation. It's y equals 2x. So any point on the line does not change by its transformation. Suppose, for example, we saw uh, we uh, use one point that is uh, uh, this point one two. 1, 2 does not change. So that is T, 1, 2 does not change because this point is on the line. But how to find another one? There is TE1 and TE2, so we need two equations. We use the normal line of, of, of this line, of the original line and uh, across in the uh, origin. So this line is y equals negative one half x by the, by the uh, relation of perpendicular lines. So any line, on the, uh, any point on this line uh, change the signs, change the signs of their coordinates. Uh, for example, there's a negative 2 and 1 change to 2 and negative 1. It's symmetry with the origin. So after reflecting, the negative 2, 1 change to 2, negative 1. So there's 2, t, 2, uh, negative 2, 1 and change to 2, negative 1. There is two methods to solve to find TE1 and TE2. The first one is use the definition of linear transformation because T12, that is TE1 plus TE2, because E1 is 1, 0 and E2 is 0, 1. By the definition of the linear transformation, it's t e one plus two t e two equals one two, and the t negative two one equals t negative two e one plus e two, that is negative two t e one plus t e two that equals. 2, negative 1. So we, we got two equations. We got two equations. And if we view te1 and te2 as uh, uh, unknown variable, then we can solve uh, this uh, linear system by the uh, Gauss elimination. Uh, if we call this the first uh, uh, equation, this is the second equation. Uh, first, uh, we times the second equation by 2. Then we have negative 4te1 plus 2te2. That's the third one. And use the first, uh, the first equation minus the third equation. We got uh, 5te1. 5te1. Oh, this equals uh, 4, negative 2. Uh, 5te1 equals 1, 2, minus 4, 1, 2, minus 4, negative 2. That is uh, negative 3 and 4. So we got T E1 that is negative 3 over 5 and 4 over 5. This T E1. And we insert this uh, result to the first equation. 
So T E one T E one plus two T E two that is negative three over five and uh, four over five minus two T E two that is one two. So uh two T E two that is negative three over five and four over five minus one two minus one two T E one Okay, that is uh, negative. It's negative. Uh, negative eight over five, and this negative. Why is negative? Uh, that's uh, oh, that's plus. That's plus. Sorry. So that is this is plus this is negative. So that is um, that is uh, eight over five, and uh, uh, six over five. That's two. Uh, this one minus this one. Yeah. So we got T E two that is four over five and uh, uh, three over five. We divide both sides by two. Three over five. Then we got uh, T E one and T E two. So A equals T E one. T E two that is T E one that is negative three over five. Four over five. That is four over five and uh, three over five. That's the uh, standard matrix. Uh, the first method is use the definition of linear transformation. The second, uh, the second method is use the inverse matrix. Use the inverse matrix because T X because tx equals ax so uh, t one two that is a one two a cos one two and the t uh, negative two one a cos two negative one equals a uh, negative two one so we uh, use these two equations, that is A, that is A, 1, 2, equals 1, 2, and A, negative 2, 1, equals 2, negative 1. So that is A equals 1, 2, 2, negative 1, and uh, 1, negative 2, 2, 1 is inverse. Use the uh, uh, matrix equation. Okay, the first equation has, does not change, and uh, we find the inverse matrix of the second one. The second, the inverse of 1, 1, negative 2, 2, 1, that is, use the uh, inverse matrix of, uh, inverse matrix of order 2. The determinant is 1 plus 4, that's 1, 
so that's one over five, and that's one two negative two one. That is one two two negative one. Uh, one four one one over five negative two over five uh, two over five and uh, one over five that is negative three over five one times one over five two times negative two over five and that is two over five plus two over five that is four over five and uh, here uh, is f 4 over 5 and uh, mm, 3 over 5. This method we use the then, uh, use the inverse matrix to find the standard matrix. Actually, uh, the most difficult part for this type of this type this type of problem is to how to use how to find the uh, two points because we cannot use the E1 and E2 directly so first we find the point on the line does not change and uh, the, line, the point on its normal lines uh, change the size of its coordinates okay that's the uh, that's the material of linear transformation.